Hello friends, and welcome to Kids Bedtime Bookshelf. Today we are reading The Solar Eclipse at School. Get comfy and let's explore the wonders that await us. Let's get started. The playground buzzed with excitement. Not the normal kind filled with shouts of tag and the clatter of basketballs. Today, an air of hushed anticipation hung over the swings and slides. Maya, a 10-year-old with hair the color of sunshine, clutched a strange contraption made of cardboard and tin foil. Ready, Leo? She asked her best friend, a lanky boy with a mop of brown hair. Leo, peering excitedly through a shoebox with a plastic film, stretched tautly across its opening, ready as I will ever be for a sun-eating monster. Their teacher, Miss Garcia, a woman with a smile as bright as a sunflower, cleared her throat. All right, class, gather around. Today we are witnessing a rare event, a solar eclipse. <gasps> a collective gasp arose from the students. Maya had heard whispers about the eclipse, of the sun being swallowed by a giant space shadow. But seeing the excitement on Miss Garcia's face, turned the whispers into a thrilling reality. Miss Garcia held up a strange black glass device. This is a special solar filter. It allows us to safely look at the sun during the eclipse. Remember, looking directly at the sun without protection can damage your eyes. As Miss Garcia passed the filter around, Maya peered through it. The sun, usually a dazzling white orb, was transformed into a fiery circle. Maya thought, soon the sun-eating monster will appear and we will see the sun disappear from the sky. This darkness is caused by the moon. Miss Garcia explained, the moon, which normally orbits Earth, will pass directly between us and the sun. For a short time, the moon's shadow will fall on Earth, blocking out the sun's light. Suddenly, the temperature dropped. A hush fell over the playground. As the sunlight began to dim, birds chirped in confusion, their morning songs turning into worried chirps. The once vibrant playground was painted in an eerie twilight. Whoa, it is getting dark, Leo exclaimed. His voice filled with a mixture of awe and concern. It is like nighttime in the middle of the day, Maya marveled, peering through her makeshift telescope across the playground. A group of younger kids started to whimper, scared by the sudden change in light. Miss Garcia knelt before them, her smile back in place. Do not worry everyone, she said. This darkness is only temporary. The moon will move away and the sun will shine brightly again. As if on cue, a sliver of light reappeared at the edge of the darkness. Miss Garcia pointed, look, the eclipse is starting to end. Slowly, the light grew stronger. Banishing the shadows, the birdsong resumed, now filled with a renewed joyous melody. The children erupted in cheers, relieved and exhilarated by the spectacle they had witnessed. Later, back in class, Maya and Leo excitedly compared experiences. Did you see the stars come out during the eclipse, Maya asked. Leo nodded fervently. It was like a peek into nighttime, even though it was still daytime. Miss Garcia beamed at them. The eclipse is a reminder of the amazing dance between the sun, moon, and earth. It is a show that happens only sometimes, but it reminds us of the wonder that exists in our universe. Walking home with Leo, Maya clutched her tinfoil telescope it might not have been as fancy as Miss Garcia's filter, but it had been enough for her to witness the sun-eating monster, even though it sounded scary. The eclipse had turned into a memory she would treasure, a day when the sun took a short nap, 
and the world held its breath in awe. Thanks for reading along with us today. We hope you enjoyed the book. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more magical stories. See you tomorrow!